I'm Shannon Beebe and I'm earning my Bachelor of Science in Nursing from UK College of Nursing. In the very beginning, it was very difficult. I was a medic in the Army for six years and so University of Kentucky had the MedVet program and it was offered to me so I jumped right on it. As a medic in the Army, it teaches a lot of discipline, which is definitely something you need going into a program as fast and furious as the nursing program. Challenges that I have experienced have probably been a little more different than the traditional student because I am a mother of five children. So I have a 20-year-old son, an 18-year-old son, a 16-year-old daughter, a 12-year-old daughter, and a 9-year-old daughter. So the challenges that I have gone through are not just academic challenges, they're family challenges and personal challenges. I have never seen the amount of support like I've seen here at UK. I've had so many instructors invest in me and even invest in my family. I am so excited to walk across that stage and get my degree because it's definitely earned. I usually like to use the term tenacious. Even when you have those difficult challenges, you continue to keep making progress one step at a time. And I think that my kids see that. I, I do know that they are very excited and they have seen what I've overcome. Walking across that stage isn't about Shannon BB having a BSN. It's about setting my family up for their future as well. I really don't feel like a hero. The things that I do on a daily basis are not because I'm looking to get some kind of medal, but I do want to leave a legacy. And what I want to do, what I want to see happen is that the world becomes a better place. If nothing else, that I've raised children that have um, just a mindset that they want to help people as well. I'm Isias Bidingar from Chad, and I'm graduating with a public health major and a neuroscience minor. I came here with no English. I'm graduating from college here at UK, and now I'm going to Harvard. It's just, I feel like I still haven't realized, and I feel like it's just like a dream. Getting a degree from UK is symbolic because coming 30 years after my dad, that's something I'm really proud of. My dad is my big role model. And saying, oh, it's thanks to UK that he got successful. So saying that, okay, I went to UK and I hope to be as successful as he, like, he is right now. So getting a degree here at UK means a lot. I would definitely say that I got into Harvard because of the support of my mentors and also like the research experience I got here at UK. The thing that got me started in the research is thanks to an honors class. If you really want to get involved in research, UK is here to like push you and also help you go there. I really want to eradicate malaria in Chad. That's my ultimate goal. 40% of all deaths in Chad are due to malaria. And so I said, I think I can do something about it. That's when I started my own organization, Motocross for Malaria, to help people in rural areas of Chad by delivering prevention, but also treatments. And I really want to combine my clinical and my research experiences together to try to do something about it. It's just because like, I, I really want to help people and make a, an impact in their lives. So yeah, that's what, literally what motivates me. I'm Jenna Lyon and I'm graduating from the University of Kentucky with a degree in elementary education. When I was in high school, I started a dance program for kids with special needs called A Chance to Dance. And we just recently received our nonprofit status. All right, so can everyone find their partners? Gosh, if you would have asked me a couple years ago, I never would have dreamed that I would have had a nonprofit and especially at this stage in my life. We've now grown from four to 24 students. Sometimes I like get chills like being up on stage with them. You can just tell how excited, how happy, and how much they love it. My whole intention with the program was to offer kids with special needs the same opportunity other kids have with dance. The College of Education has been wonderful too. I've taken a lot of really valuable courses there and just learned a lot of teaching strategies that not only am I going to implement into my future classroom, but also I've already started implementing them into my dance program. Kids it just need somebody to love them and to take the time to work with them. These kids really do have the same capabilities as everyone else. I mean, they amaze me every single week. They've become so much more outgoing. The class has had such a bigger impact on the kids than what I ever imagined. I love my students so much. I consider my students heroes. Just seeing that even though they have challenges, they have to face that we don't have to face on a day-to-day -day basis and what they're able to accomplish. Really, they have taught me anyone is capable of doing anything. If you set your mind to something and you try and you take the time, you can really achieve anything. 
I'm Paige Rocky. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, and I am graduating with my master's in speech language pathology from the College of Health Sciences. The reason I got into this field was actually because of an accident I had my sophomore year of college. In October of 2012, I was a cheerleader at Penn State University. One night, I fell out of a fifth floor window, and after that, everything changed. So I was in a coma for a little over two weeks. They told my parents, you know, we don't know if she'll ever wake up, and if she she does wake up, we don't know what you'll get. It was about a month and a half after my injury that I, I was there, but I wasn't speaking. The first thing I really remember from that point forward was when I started talking. Speech therapy is so much more than speaking. You know, I had to get to speaking before I could progress any further, which is why I went into speech therapy. I mean, these people made such a difference in my life. You know, they didn't even know if I would live. They didn't know that I could go back to school. No one thought I'd graduate from college. And here I am graduating with my master's and I just feel like I've overcome all odds. This program is so great. My classmates, the professors, advisors, clinical instructors, they've all been incredibly encouraging and supportive. I can't wait to give my patients hope. Because I remember the feeling, I just wanted my life back. I've had so many patients tell me, I just want to get my life back. I get that. I want to help you get your life back because somebody helped me get my life back. And so when it comes down to it, that's, that's the reason I'm doing this.